Hi everyone, this is Jim. Welcome to episode 9 of Chess Basics, Things Every Chess Player Ought to Know. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what sounds like uh, an easy one. This is the case when you have a knight, no, any piece actually, a piece and a pawn, and you're fighting against a bear king. You would think you would win this all the time, but there is one important exception that every chess player ought to know. But first we'll talk about the easy uh, wins. So, uh, I started to say knight. The piece could be a knight or a bishop. If the piece is a rook or a queen, then you don't even need the pawn. You can just throw it away and mate the, mate the king with the rook or the queen. So I won't worry about those cases. We'll just talk about knights and bishops. Um, so uh, first of all, notice black is in the ideal defending position directly in front of the pawn. And uh, secondly, notice that the piece is far away from the scene of the action. And you kind of want this. Uh, you want this piece to be far away because you don't want it accidentally taking away squares from the king and creating a stalemate situation. So this is the simplest way to win. Uh, it's white's turn here. He just pushes the pawn forward. And um, black just moves straight black, straight back following the drawing procedure we described. Uh, if you uh, want to go back and review uh, videos one through four, I talk about the, all of the cases of king and pawn versus king there. Okay, white's king moves forward. Black's king comes over to oppose White's king. You keep pushing forward. Check. King goes in front of the pawn. And now, if you didn't have the piece, uh, you, you would have to move your king, and you would either have to move it away from the pawn where Black could take it, or you'd have to move it here, which would create a stalemate. Um, so the key difference when you have a piece is it gives you a tempo that you can use at a critical moment, and now's the time. You just move the knight somewhere. Again, you want to stay away from the action because you don't want to take away squares from the king. If you had a knight over here that accidentally hit that square, you would be unfortunately drawing. So it's Black's turn. He's got to move, and all the squares around him are covered except for one. The uh, pawn covers those squares. The king covers those squares, so he has to move to this square. Then you come over here, keep the king blocked out. He has to move again and you get a queen and you go on to win so that's an easy win and the same thing would apply if this were a bishop so so where are the drawing chances well things get a little bit trickier here let's just set up a new position things get a bit trickier as usual when you have a rook pawn so let's uh put the king over here put the pawn over here and put the black king in front of the pawn. And uh, we'll keep the knight there. It doesn't really matter where the knight is. White to move. Okay. So this is white to move. White goes forward. Black stays uh, in front of the pawn. And drops straight back. And you go here. And this is the position you want to get to. You want to stay on the 6th rank here. You don't want to go forward to the 7th rank. Now, black is going to stay on these two squares. And no matter what you do, if you just move the king and the pawn, you can't make any progress because uh, you push forward, it'll create a stalemate situation. And uh, even, even moving the knight won't help. So, here, let, let me illustrate that. It's uh, White's turn to move here. If he moves the knight, that's stalemate because the king has no moves. The, the white king is taking away these squares and the pawn is taking away that square. So there's no moves to the king. So if you can't move the knight, that would be a stalemate. You can't move the pawn because it's blocked. So your only move is to move the king. And if the king goes to this square, um, it's still stalemate. So the king has to step away. Black will gobble the pawn. And it's a stalemate. You can't mate the guy with just a knight. So you don't want to do that. You want to stay right here. Okay. White just moved forward. Black moved sideways. At this point, you need to do something other than move the king and the pawn. And the, uh, the right thing to do, of course, is to move the knight. Only piece remaining. And uh, the key square you want to concern yourself with is this square. You want to get your knight to that square so that the knight from that square covers the rook pawn where the place where the rook pawn is going to queen 
and so the king can't get back there and then you'll be able to win. So let's see how it plays out in this case. Here, and the king just keeps going back and forth. Here, and here. And now it's black's turn to move. He can't go back to that square. He can't go forward to any of these squares because the king covers him. He has to run away. And now he can't stop the pawn from queening. He can't go to either of those two squares. He's got to keep moving away. And uh, he's going to lose. So that's how you do it. Um, if the tempos were a little bit different, yeah, let's set this up with the with the uh, with the knight on a different square. I'll move the knight to a dark square, and then we'll go through the same thing. Now watch it. Uh, you want to be careful you don't take away this square here from the king. You want to stay away from this square so you don't want to land on any of those squares, for example. You're trying to get to this square. Let's see. Here, here, here is probably the way to do it. Yeah, so now this is different by one tempo from the previous square because the knight now comes here with check. The king moves to the side and then you can go ahead and push the pawn with check. And the king, again, can't go back because of the knight, has to go to the side, and then you queen, and you win. So either way, if you can get your knight to this key square here, and you keep your pieces back on the sixth rank, then you can win this game. So this is, this is the key winning position. So it looks like you can always win with a knight and pawn against a king. Where's the, where's the case where you can't win? Well, let's get to that. Um, let's set that up right now. So the problem is when you don't have a knight but you have a bishop instead and when the bishop is the wrong color. What you would really like is to have a light squared bishop. Um, a bishop that covers the corner square. But in this case I gave you a bishop, gave us a bishop that stays only on the dark squares. So let's see, it's white's turn to move here. No, it's black's turn to move here. So you can check the king, check, he just runs back to the corner. Now you can't stay on this uh, diagonal. If you go here, for example, uh, this is a stalemate because the king has no moves. Uh, white king covers these squares and uh, white bishop covers that square. So big trouble. Let's back up. You go sideways, he just keeps going back and forth. You can check him any time you like. But whenever you check him, he just runs back to this square, and then you have to get off that diagonal immediately, and he can go back there. So this is the case of the wrong bishop, or you could think of it as the wrong square, the wrong colored bishop or the wrong colored square. But when the bishop and the corner square that this pawn is aiming for are, are in different colors, then you can never uh, create, uh, you can never win. The, uh, the only way to win is if you happen to get to the corner ahead of the king. But if the king gets to the corner uh, before you can block him out, then uh, you can't win. And having the extra bishop doesn't help. Now let's take a look at the other corner. Let's, let's go and set that up. Put the bishop somewhere out of the way and put the pawn over here. King over here. Black king over here. It doesn't matter. As long as the black king is anywhere in the vicinity, you're not going to be able to make progress without the help of a piece. Um, so it's white's turn to move. He comes forward. Black goes to the corner. What you do is you check the king. He runs this way. You check him again with the pawn. 
and he can't run to any of these three. He's, any of these, these squares are all covered. That's covered by the bishop. He's checked by the pawn, so he has to go sideways, and you get your queen, and you go on to win. So that's how you win, and um, the only case you can't win is if you have the wrong bishop and if the king gets in front of the pawn. But every time, keep in mind, you have to uh, watch out for stalemate tricks. So when you have that extra piece, just make sure it's not around taking away squares from your opponent's king. And don't push ahead too fast if you have one of these corner pawns. Get everything set up before you push in for the final uh, queening operation. And that'll cover the subject for now. Uh, next time I'll go on to cover some other uh, in-game techniques. Uh, I'll go, I'm will go. i going to be talking about uh, the case where white has uh, two pawns and black has one pawn. So see you then. Bye.